and then by getting these four equilateral triangles to kind of stand up against each other, uh, you will have a very, very strong form. And it's the form that is uh, still viewable today. Many of the parts have been taken away. But what would happen is you would have a layer of lime on top of the brick structure and lime is an electrical insulator so that will stop you from getting uh, electricity passing through the stone so it protects the people inside it's a bit like a faraday cage uh, it will take the electricity away from the brick structure and then atop you would have a small cone of gold and the gold would act as an electrical conductor at 500 feet you have a lot of free floating static electricity in the air as a naturally occurring feature of our lower atmosphere and now we are going to uh, explain something called the word and the word is a sound and uh, the word uh, has been cut into separate pieces and used around the world uh, as a meditative sound, as a, a call out to uh, the, the gods or all manner of things. So the whole word uh, is basically a sound. So the word is a sound. And this sound is created uh, by the use of uh, four letters and these uh, four letters um, aren't pronounced the way we pronounce them now uh, and I'll go into that in a second the uh, the whole word is I A O M now, the Eastern people uh, utilised the last part of the word, which is the OM. And they use this sound for meditative purposes. And you find that the, uh, the Neo-Druids have the first three letters of the word, and they actually pronounce them the same way that they are written nowadays with the I sound but before uh, we use the I sound we would use like a double E sound for the letter I it's a system of substitution whereby you are substituting a shape for a letter and Masonic code looks something like this So it has many different forms and shapes and there are 26 of them all together and it is quite difficult to work out what the letters represent. So what I did was I collected all the different shapes together and then grouped them into a pattern and the pattern that I found that every single one of these symbols fitted into is a symbol which is very si similar to what we used to play at school with the uh, noughts and crosses and you have this symbol here 
is the main grid and then there is a, a secondary symbol which is a cross these two shapes are duplicated and uh, the easiest form of biodegradable plastics is uh, a mixture of two quite easily to get hold of uh, quantities and that is vinegar and milk so you have vinegar and milk uh, all you have to do now is you have to heat them up in a bowl in solution so you pour the milk in and the vinegar in give it a stir and then let it settle and what will happen is all the protein chains from the milk will kind of gloop together and form a sticky white mass uh, on the surface of this mixture. So you have different structures uh, of elements relating to a different group. So I thought it looked a bit non-functional so I then created it into a three-dimensional form. And how I did that is basically you created a spiral on a piece of paper and then you start off with hydrogen at the top and then I would slowly section off each of these areas and then fill in the next one which is helium and then lithium and then as I work my way round I added one electron and filled the whole table at the moment we are led to believe that there are 24 hours in a day Well, this isn't exactly true. There is not actually 24 hours in any day uh, at all. Uh, the Earth rotates on its own axis every 23 hours, 56 minutes of four seconds. I can go a bit more than that, 4.0905 of a second, that's enough for you for now really. Uh, so basically they're out by a few minutes every day, which is why we have to add on one leap year day every four years. Uh, that does seem to upset the balance of the year a little bit by adding a day every four years. Uh, and uh, this geothermal dynamics is uh, a wonderful study of the temperature of different parts of the planet and at different depths. And uh, what you find <coughs> is uh, the
the internal heat of our planet is produced uh, by the decay of radioactive elements that are naturally occurring and are inside our planet. And what they do is they slowly lose a neutron and a proton, <coughs> which is called an alpha particle, and that will generate heat. So we'll start with uh, the whole engine of this geothermal dynamical cycle is. is the understanding of the process that is involved in creating the planet Earth. And uh, many other planets as well have an internal heat source. A lot of planets don't. A lot of planets are just gas. Uh, but Earth...